We have already spoiled the surprise. You've already seen who is in the building. We have arguably the best African female rapper in studio with us on Y254 for the very first time. My name is Hilda Wadidi and you are watching Social Friday on your Y in the morning. On today you can find us at Y254 channel. The hashtag is Y in the morning, hashtag Social Friday. On Instagram, Y254 underscore channel. On Facebook, Y254. So do make sure you catch up with us on DSTV channel 376 on Saturday. 54 signet 824. Yes, so Karibu Sana, Miss Petra Boko. Thank you. Hey, hey, yeah, what's up? What are you doing? I'm okay. It's lovely to be here mm -hmm. with you. Mm -hmm. You're also like the best host in the in Africa. Man, you got me, you got me all excited. Now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for coming to church, huh? uh -huh. Thank you very much. All right, DJ Khalifa, Salimia, what to? But it's in you. We're gonna feel shame, me, but I'm Petra face to face. Oh my! <laughs> well, you're not the only one. I'm gonna crash one by the way. Wow! So lovely to be part of a evening. Talk it below your number. Tower. I couldn't hear you. Talk it below your number. Excuse me, excuse me. Her, her boss is in town. Please, can we be yeah. careful? Ah. <laughs> anyway, Petra, let's talk. It's about time the fans get to know you. Mm -hmm. So tell us about your journey. What happened? What's going on? How did you end up the best female rapper we have so far? Hmm. Um, it's been a long road. Mm -hmm. It hasn't been easy. Mm -hmm. Just, uh, I've just kept on pushing, like not giving up. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> that's it. That's all you can say. Yeah. What about your connections and your people right next to you? How, mm -hmm. how, how helpful have they been and who would you give a big shout out to if you could right now? Hmm. I'd give a big shout out to my whole team mm -hmm. because I'm an indie artist mm -hmm. but I have um, a whole team behind me that uh, keeps on supporting me. Mm -hmm. But um, all in all, it all, it all uh, comes up to me. Mm -hmm. If I don't have the drive to keep on pushing, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. yeah, I'd also like to, to uh, give me the props mm -hmm. first mm -hmm. before I, I, I give uh, my team any... Uh, Recognition because without me, uh -huh. Akuna, yeah, hey, without to you, work Akuna, with. sure. All right, <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about um, when you first started out. Uh, when I first met you, Petra, we were young girls, it yeah, of, like what 18, 19, mm -hmm. and you had been doing music already. Yeah, so how did you sustain yourself? Was your family supporting you? What, what was the big how was the big move from Costa to Nairobi? Mm -hmm. You know, let's talk about that. Um, my family has always been supportive of me, mm -hmm. but um, there comes times mm -hmm. uh, where it's just like, ah, do you really need to keep on doing this music thing? Uh, yeah. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, because um, like there's a whole lot of mess that comes with. In the music industry, mm -hmm. it's not uh, all rosy rosy, mm -hmm. like how people think uh -huh. or, or how we, how we uh, portray to be mm -hmm. in, the, in the music videos mm -hmm. and maybe the, our performances. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of hard work and sometimes, like mm -hmm. most, of the most of the times you'll get disappointed. Mm -hmm. So you just have to have that drive and that, uh, you just have to keep pushing. That's mm -hmm. why I started with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that has always been my motive. Uh -huh. And um, even the people I look up to, mm -hmm. that has always been the key. Like you just have that drive, that passion, keep pushing and uh -huh. you'll just attain your goals. Because okay. according to me, mm -hmm. I haven't, I haven't reached the level where I can say like, okay, um, sasa mimi ni star. Mm -hmm. Like I haven't. Mm -hmm. Just my, my fans will come up to me and I'm like, oh my God. I, so I, I even have fans, like, <laughs> wow. Cause when I, uh -huh. like, I haven't even, like even a quarter of what I, I want to accomplish. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe I have like mm -hmm. a quarter, mm -hmm. but um, I don't let it get to my head. Mm -hmm. Cause most, most, uh, I don't want to talk about anybody, mm -hmm. but uh, most people, mm -hmm. not uh, artists to be precise, mm -hmm. but most people wakifika mahali mm -hmm. inanza kuingia kwa kichwa. Uh -huh. So me, I, I aim for higher, so that doesn't usually get into my head. <laughs> well, I'd like to talk about the personality difference. It's mm -hmm. so different. Like in person, you're very quiet, mm -hmm. subtle, mm -hmm. but then on the microphone, my goodness. Mm -hmm. So what happens when you step into the booth? What happens? Where is this Petra coming from? <laughs> yeah. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, so you know me personally. Yes. That is, that is a, that is a character, uh -huh. like I'm usually in character. Oh, uh-huh. And um, my husband is my biggest supporter and he's the, he's the like, um, mm -hmm. he plays a very big role mm -hmm. in my team. Mm -hmm. 
So um, he's a perfectionist. Mm -hmm. So everything I do has to be 100% perfect. If, I, if I'm going to act like an angel, mm -hmm. I have to make sure you look like a real like angel. Like it's 100%. <laughs> it's like uh -huh. a movie role. Uh -huh. Like how Angelina Jolie is like bad, uh -huh. badass. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. even when I fuck kukua, like everything has to be at par. Kama haita kuwa evil, then nothing is going to happen. So I, like that has really like kept me. It's discipline. Mm -hmm. Discipline has kept me, mm -hmm. uh, has made me uh, learn how to how to balance the two personalities. So can we look forward to seeing you in a movie role somewhere? I know that you nailed your role yeah, so well. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I'm not thinking, that's not like my uh, objective for now. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not thinking about that, but whatever comes in future, mm -hmm. it'll just come. So <laughs> I'm well, prepared. I'm glad that you mentioned your husband. Mm -hmm. Now can we talk about the directors that you have been working with? Have uh -huh. you worked with any other directors aside from uh, the esteemed director, Kevin Bosco Jr., who is also in the business, mm -hmm. by the way? Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, I have. When I was starting out, mm -hmm. I worked with Blessed Joe, I worked with uh, Enos, mm -hmm. I worked with... Um, I worked with... Uh, Quite a few. Mm -hmm. So, so he's um, not the only one. He's not the monopoly. No, but so Unagua, it's my team. Like he's now, he's now uh -huh. part of my team. Uh -huh. That's why I'm, I'm saying like it's a visual department. I love kuna audio department. Mm -hmm. Okay, right now for the audio department, mm -hmm. I work with Yulopa. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's just a team. They have their own separate companies. I also have my own thing going on. Mm -hmm. Like my own thing. Uh, like biashara and whatever and mm -hmm. stuff going on mm -hmm. but at the end of the day when it comes to the petra brand mm -hmm. like all these people itabidi mm waelewane -hmm. kuja kwa sababu ya hiyo brand petra so mm -hmm. yeah like it's a team so hakuna venye hata nikienda mahali nikifanya project mahali i still have to go back home to my team i still okay. have to consult them okay so yeah. now we know that is the team that is the main that is the team kama watu wa wako wanajua hivyo nimeweka wazi well i would be very unfair to the audience if i did not ask you how you're balancing your baby your your marital life and the rap of petra huh it's just how do I do it? I don't even know how I do it myself. <laughs> like it's it's crazy. Uh -huh. It's crazy because mm -hmm. um you know how 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 I how I manage to balance mm -hmm. is I just put it in my head mm -hmm. that okay, this is how like this is this is what life has thrown at me. Mm -hmm. So it just has to be like Kama ni mama kuwa perfect at that. Mm -hmm. Kuwa perfect kwa malezi, kama mm -hmm. ni music kuwa perfect kwa hiyo. Mm -hmm. If I can't, mm -hmm. ni heri ni wache. Oh. Una understand? Okay. But since, so you're a perfectionist as well. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I had to. I had to learn how mm -hmm. to. And it's, it's, a, it's a really good thing. Mm -hmm. Like, in, in any, in any uh, career anyone wants to... to uh, Yes, take to on mm -hmm. to pursue mm -hmm. like it's 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 really like even you you have to be a perfectionist at what you're doing like come well, on like, <laughs> I, I, I try <laughs> no but you, you are like you're doing your best 100 mm -hmm. best okay. if so, someone tells you mm -hmm. oh like uh, not a not a negative uh, mm -hmm. critic mm -hmm. how z mm -hmm. but the positive <laughs> critic akuja <laughs> kwambie hilda mm -hmm. um instead of doing this mm -hmm. you could have done this like or, you should do this next time mm -hmm. it'll make it better yes if you're intelligent enough you'll you listen. You listen. Yes. And you tend to recognize so that you can mm -hmm. you can be perfect at what you do. So yes. mm -hmm. it's a it's a key, it's also a key a key word in mm -hmm. my in my um, perfectionism. Perfectionism. Must be perfect. <laughs> Must be perfect. Okay, speaking of perfection and your perfect collaborations, you have featured a really good bunch of celebrities that we know here. Mm -hmm. How is it like working with Calligraph? How is it like working with Victoria Kimani? You also had some Russians in your videos. Yeah. Like, my God. And then before I ask you about being a role model, let's first hear how some of these people are on set. Uh -huh. What is it like working with Calligraph? Calligraph is uh, more of like a family family person to me mm -hmm. <laughs> like I met like we go way back with calligraph so mm -hmm. it's not it's not different like me he's he like part of the team me. <laughs> yeah he's like part of my team uh -huh. like any any anywhere anytime he'll be like if you're making a wrong move mm -hmm. he'll be like hey Apo ah, mm -hmm. no 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 mm -hmm. so he's still like part of he's always been part of my journey like uh -huh. he's just always been my family wow so with him it it was just normal, it was fun. It was like having your brother or your sister on set. It's, uh -huh. 
Yeah. Also, it's a bit easier. Like, it's a bit easier. Ah. It's a bit easier, yeah. What about Victoria Kimani? What say you? Victoria? Mm hmm Victoria is a very interesting person to work with because mm -hmm. she's very honest. Like mm -hmm. she'll tell you. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, she's very, she's very, uh, she speaks her mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if she likes something, she'll be like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> you know? Uh -huh. So she's very genuine mm -hmm. and she speaks her mind. Mm -hmm. So many, uh, uh, you might, you might, uh, you might uh, misunderstand her personality, mm. but I actually find people like that, like, very easy to work with. Because kama kitu haija mfraisha, ata kuambia hapo na hapo na atairekebisha. Kuliko ati, project yote ifanyiki, and then afterwards, uanze kusikia, ati, ya, unagiwa, anichoma, me and the one who stood out, you know, stuff like that. So she was very nice. She was like, she kept on asking me, like, do you like this, or do you want me to change this? Like, it was just a great vibe. Yeah. All right, great vibes, Victoria Kimani. Very honest to mm -hmm. me here. So what about Akina and Fisa, the Russians? How, in, good, in God's good name, did that collab happen? Um, their management contacted me because mm -hmm. they wanted to do a project like that's African-based. Mm -hmm. So their management contacted me and they said that uh, they wanted to do something with an African artist and... Mm -hmm. Yeah, with an African artist. You can just put it down. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's why I was like, yeah, this thing. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so they reached out to me because mm -hmm. they loved what I was doing mm -hmm. and they loved my style, my vibe and everything. Mm -hmm. And it we all worked it out great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they flew all the way from China. Wow. And uh -huh. Actually, they were, they were on tour the day, the, the, uh, the day they were set to travel. Oh, uh -huh. So they were on tour in Russia, so they had to connect. Mm -hmm. We did some interviews um, on some media stations, media houses, mm -hmm. hyped the project up, and it, it ended up being successful. It was a good song anyway. Yeah. So speaking, also, mm -hmm. also, I have, um, I was on a project with Bobby Valentino. What? Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. You didn't, you didn't see yes, that. Yes, yes, yes. With King Kanja. It yes. was Kanja's song, and I was featured on it. Yes. Yeah. With, uh, yeah. So shout out to King Kanja. <laughs> it's actually a it good was a song. Beautiful I've seen Yulopa is the one who produces. Yes, yeah. Yulopa has produced, yes. produces majority mm -hmm. of my songs. Mm -hmm. As I said, he's part of uh, Brand Petra. Yeah. Like wherever I go, even if Jay-Z comes to me, the proposal, I still have to go back to my team. Okay. Now how and you are too angle, so. So Bobby B. Oh, can you let, can you please give us a taste of Bobby B? My God, what, what does he look like? What does he taste like? In person. <laughs> <It> tastes like. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, my. He's always been the lover boy for the young girls. Yeah, you know? yeah. Mm -hmm. So what did so, you feel like meeting him for the first time? It was exciting. It mm -hmm. was nice. Mm -hmm. He had so many people around him, uh -huh. so many. Uh, uh huh. What time, time can I use for ladies who are <laughs> ladies, beautiful ladies beautiful around ladies. him? So, uh -huh. yeah, he was occupied. Okay. So I didn't really, I didn't really interact with him one on one, like Sana Ivo ni mjue yuko vipi. But we bumped to each other, tukarushana maneno kidogo, uh -huh. like, oh, I love what you're doing. My he, God, I he, wish I was there. Yeah, it was nice. He's a nice person. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So let's talk about the content of your videos. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like, first of all, they've not been done here. And also, um, <laughs> there's explicit. When you have an explicit uh, mm -hmm. kind of content and you have a daughter, <laughs> like, I'd like to know, where do you draw the line? Like, you know, she's going to grow up and watch this. Where do you mm -hmm. draw the line? Like, Dana is very explicit. No, that's not explicit. I have even more explicit. You have the, the dance hall one. Yeah, you like know. perfection. <laughs> come on, it's please. Come on, you gospel. <laughs> Go hard. <laughs> yeah, you go home on everything. Uh -huh. So with my daughter, mm -hmm. she has her own life, uh -huh. and as I said, like balancing. Now that's where the balance comes in. Petra mm -hmm. unamuona kwa screen sio yule ambaye na analea mtoto wa kinyumbani. So it's a very different, two very different personalities. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's like three. <laughs> different person. I, I think it's just many because mm -hmm. there's the wife mm -hmm. and then there's the mom. Mm -hmm. I love there's now the friend. Mm -hmm. Like how I'm your friend. Yes. And um and there's a what? Then the the artist. Yeah. Oh, the artist. Yeah. Okay, so if you if uh, for someone who's never met you mm -hmm. and um <clears throat> 
let's talk about your crushes. Before the husband, because I know that has thrown all the machisi off. Do you, have any, <laughs> do you have any man crush in the industry that you look up to? Or you'd like to work with even? You know, you can let Chris us know. Brown. Chris Brown. He's not my man crush, but he's, <laughs> uh -huh. he's like... He's that guy. Everything. Okay, okay. All in one. Brown, what about a female one? Which female uh, artist or which female rapper inspires you oh, that you look uh, up to? Rapper. Mm -hmm. Rapper is Foxy Brown. Uh -huh. Like it goes way back, like those old school. Old school. Yeah, Foxy Brown, a little bit of Lil Kim, mm -hmm. a little bit of MC Light. Ish. Like, even if you hear my songs, uh -huh. like most of the times you'll compare me to. Okay, back then, mm -hmm. like in you, what was say, they're like, oh, Nicki Minaj, you know, they're always comparing me to who's popping right now. In yeah, the, yeah, I've seen like, people call you Nicki Minaj. Yeah, yeah so yeah. no, 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 it goes, like even time you're Lil Kim, they were like, oh, you're not some kama Lil Kim. Oh. Now they're like, oh, you're some kama Cardi B. Mm. So next time mm -hmm. it will be, oh, you and a sound kama Petra, like yes. I'll be. This is and that's, that's my aim, that's my goal. So, Nyombeni, Kenya Ipoeko map, like Lupita made it, so <laughs> anybody can make it. As long as the drive and the passion and the persistency, consistency is there, mm -hmm. yeah. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so before we, we conclude with your newest dancehall track and also a birthday party that's coming through on the 30th of this month, Cindy. Yes. Yes, uh, before we go right into that, there's a song that you have called Inuka. It, I'm a politician and I love politics. And yeah. Youth and politics on Monday, by the way, please do make uh -huh. sure you check that segment out. You've done a song mm -hmm. about creating social awareness. Yeah. What inspired this track? Hmm. That's actually a track I did. Yes during the elect the election period yes. to promote like unity mm -hmm. amongst amongst like the citizens of Kenya mm -hmm. especially the youth uh -huh. because I even softened out on that track like I wasn't hardcore mm -hmm. I was just hardcore on the part where I said social media is fake and mm -hmm. And these T's <laughs> are fake as T out here. Oh no no the T's are very common with you Petra but yeah, it's cool. so <laughs> Um, it was just all about uniting the youth mm -hmm. to do it like we are we are actually bigger like Sisindo tuna tuna jiri awa tu. yes. like all this politics and and everything they need us mm -hmm. we don't need them mm -hmm. like yeah that's basically it so bosses. as in we mm -hmm. are the bosses mm -hmm. in short yeah. Sisindo tuna alipa mshara Sisindo tuna eka apo mm -hmm. so we don't really need to to fight over mm -hmm. over. Like we don't need to to beef because when you like if you if you if you saw on social media, yes. like our generation was actually beefing, yeah. like and you're tribal beef. But I'm gonna say more about this in our shamba kiasicho. Like what? Hey, you know your shamba? It's it's illiteracy. Mm -hmm. Now when you like our parents has, have sacrificed so much yeah. in order for us to have a a a, a, a great uh, education, yes. a proper education, like. For us so to go back to, to thinking fight, like that. Yeah, yeah, we are the ones who are supposed to be like enlightening the ones mm -hmm. who how I could put your your exposure, exposure. to like the, right. that we got. <laughs> so now that's Petra, the the, the activist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's a, a different Petra. Petra. Well, now you have a new dancehall track which you've broken out into, and it's about time we conclude this segment. So let's just talk a little bit about that track. Uh -huh. well, in God's name, what's going on? What inspired this particular track? That's extremely explicit, by the way. Uh -huh. Um, it was actually. One of it, it was uploaded on a Jamaican site. Oh, it's, it's uh -huh. not it's not a like Kenya based. I didn't upload it on my channel. Be uh -huh. Because of um, disclaimer issues oh. and, uh, and guidelines, I have to follow. Mm. Like we have to follow as citizens of Kenya. Uh -huh. So um, it was suggested. That project was suggested for me. Uh, to me, mm -hmm. by a Jamaican DJ. His Ooh. name is Akam Entertainment. It's actually on his uh, yes. feed. Yes. So he was like, there's a guy called Gage. Mm -hmm. He's done a song. Mm -hmm. And I really think mm -hmm. you would really, like you, you're the one who would like kill this track. <laughs> then I'm like, when you're... Akuna mademo Jamaica on his Akira was like, nah, 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 I've you. seen guys calling you Spice up in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> spice is like one of my, like, mm -hmm. in terms of dance hall, like mm -hmm. she's... She's the one. She's one of my like favorites. Mm -hmm. Actually, her yeah, too. Now vibes katendo now 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 rank Gaza. 
Wild boss. Broccoli. Broccoli. Okay, if you haven't checked out that song, you need to check out her Facebook page. You'll be able to see the song as well. Woo. All right, but it's about time we conclude this, Petra. Uh-huh. Uh, you know which you know which song I want uh, for you to do for us as a party. Yes, show? yes. Yes, because it's my favorite one. <coughs> but anyway, if I get excited, thank Anything you Anything so for much. you. <laughs> the lovely Hilda. Thank you. So Amazing. So tell us about your birthday. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. Okay, so okay. <laughs> <laughs> so um I have a birthday celebration coming up on the 30th mm-hmm. and um it's it's not your normal type of uh birthday bash mm-hmm. it's like more of a corporate event mm-hmm. so it's 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 um an opportunity uh, opportunity to my fans to mm-hmm. come and network mm-hmm. with some of the um with some of the big should i say big shots in, yes, in yes. the industry yes. so you can come and network like there's a beauty department there's some treats i'm going to be giving out yes um so for five of my fans i'm going to be giving out uh posh palace courtesy of suzanne kaitani mm-hmm. uh posh palace uh, makeover mm-hmm. for two of my wonderful giver fans mm-hmm. and the second one um is a uh, bembea we are going bembea for safari. house yes uh-huh. yes um the bear house a uh, three night uh, getaway mm-hmm. to lamu mm-hmm. so and the third one is mm-hmm. remind me oh what was the third one let me check the third one was um <laughs> yeah safari. courtesy of starboard safaris yes we're giving out a surprise getaway with me yes i'll be accompanying you Ooh. so we'll have so much fun together mm-hmm. Um, and the last but not least is um, to all my drinker fans, I don't do any alcohol, any uh, drug Champagne. substances. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, Luke Belair uh-huh. is going to be giving out a bottle of champagne mm-hmm. to one of my diehard party pooper fan. <laughs> Okay. No, no, you think Peter is just calling you a party pooper. Uh, she does not subscribe to drinking. No, see, I'm levy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. See, I'm party pooper. Okay, so yeah. that, but to me, I guess I'm in the party pooper again. No, but it's okay. There's a bottle of champagne. There's Luke Bella. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so thank you so much for coming through. Mm-hmm. Petra, where can they find you on social media? Social media is at Petra Music with a ZIC on Instagram, Petra Music with a ZIK on Twitter. Although I'm not always like, I'm not active on Twitter, mm-hmm. but I'll work on that. Mm-hmm. Um, Petra Music Kenya for both uh, Facebook and YouTube. So you can check me out, check out all of my interviews yes. and videos and everything. <laughs> Wait, and this and this and this amazing birthday by the way is going to be happening at the Golden Ice Bistro. At the Golden Bistro. Ice Bistro, yes. one of Africa's top leading uh, yes you well, just your master of chocha <laughs> excuse me th- this is the master of chocha oh, you, yeah. you, so you can tell us about no, me never <laughs> yeah, it's good na, na shanga na shanga vile place ni expensive mm. <laughs> <laughs> luxurious <laughs> and <laughs> my fans <laughs> are invited like yeah. it's free so that the, the free tickets will be available you just have to register uh, put in the amount of tickets you you want, you want. Mm. and then you'll get an ele- electronic ticket emailed to you Yes, so just register name email Click and then you'll get your tickets. You'll get your tico. Yeah, please please go visit uh, If you do I'll also be sharing it on my social media pages. Mm-hmm. I'll also be in attendance by the way Yeah, so do make sure you pull up over there. I'm uh, sure you can grab the mic while I say goodbye to the fans As you have had party poopers, you know, please don't drink and tweet. It is Friday I know we are the chaser to your weekend. As I'm telling you, for watching Social Friday We've seen the body out. We've seen people get tattooed in studio. My goodness So do make sure you do catch up with us next week We do this between every Monday and Friday 7 to 10 a.m. in the morning. My name is Hilda Wadid at Barry Moses was here at Joy Muchache. Please do not go anywhere. We're just about to tap out with one Miss P. She's going to be performing that. <laughs> but mm, I got that. You know, I was trying to avoid that. <laughs> 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 All right, so I'm going to take my paint the way for one Miss P. Mm-hmm. Asante Nisana for watching.